All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. Police here in Jenkins are investigating after a child and a grandparent were struck by a school bus this morning. The accident occurred in the Smoky Row area of Jenkins, where Smoky Row intersects with Highway 805. The Letcher County School District bus was loaded at the time of the accident. There were 10 passengers, uh, students on the bus. Uh, none of those were injured in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the grandmother was with the child, the student at the bus stop. The uh, uh, bus stop was not a scheduled one. The driver was not aware he was supposed to stop. Apparently they missed the stop, uh, or they missed the bus. Uh, he uh, uh, stopped to pick him up and somehow during that time they came in contact with the bus. At this time we're still trying to figure out whether, whether the, uh, the bus hit them or whether they actually walked into the bus. Both the child and the grandmother suffered non-life threatening injuries. The student, about seven years old, uh, was injured, minor, uh, with some scrapes and cuts. He was taken to Whitesburg Hospital, ER just for precautions. We're still not sure whether he sustained injuries from contact with the bus or contact with the guardrail or ground as the grandmother uh, tossed him out of the way uh, of the bus. The grandmother did sustain serious injuries. She's got a leg injury. She was flown to uh, Holston Valley. Jenkins Police Chief Jim Stevens said charges are not likely to be filed against the bus driver and the bus driver is cooperating in the investigation. The bus driver is extremely upset. Um, he stated that he did not see them. Um, our investigation has, has borne that out, that, that he didn't, didn't, uh, didn't see him. No charges at all are going to be forthcoming. The investigation into the accident is ongoing. Reporting in Jenkins for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.